Hi, welcome for RTL Online Training and Placements. Today in this session, we are going to talk about how to convert prospective supplier as spend authorized supplier. We know that in supply chain management, as well as in uh, financials, supplier is, uh, is a big role, right? Even if we are working as finance functional consultant, or even if we are working as supply chain management functional consultant or technical consultant, we must be clear about supplier model, right? We discussed in our previous sessions about supplier model. Please subscribe for our channel to get more information, both finance and supply, as well as human capital and technical also. So this session, I'm going to show you how to convert prospective supplier as spend authorized supply. So we need uh, which role, which role is required to work with the supplier, supplier managed. That is the role is required, right? Go to procurement suppliers. This employee is having this role, supplier manager role. So if we have supplier manager role, we can easily search for employees and also we can go for create. Otherwise we cannot get this menu. We cannot get this menu. Let's go for create supplier here. Whenever we go for supplier here and whenever we create a prospective supplier, we don't find supplier sites, right? Let me create this. I'm going to mention that supplier name as Vedam Cloud. That's the supplier name. Prospective supplier I'm going to create. Corporation, create. Prospective supplier means we can just negotiate with the supplier. It means we can send our requirement. We can receive the quotations from the supplier and also information from the supplier. But we will not be able to purchase the goods from the supplier. That's why you don't find a site tab here site tab we don't find because the current supplier is prospective supplier not spend authorized supplier let me go for creation of address sim supplier grade is one of the field available here it's additional information nothing but descriptive flex field somebody has added additional field they made it as mandatory that's why star mark we are getting and also they have added some value set. It seems independent value set. Just choose some value here, you know. And after we go for it, let's go to the tab called address. Whenever we go for address tab, it will allow us to create an address, supplier address, not a problem. Choose the address here, double two double zero here. I'm going to make it as we can send the RFQ to supplier and receive it and ordering and go for save and close. What we have done, we created supplier and we created supplier address. So I'm I'm not able to see the supplier site. Sometimes what happened, you may feel that you are not a buyer. So if you are not a buyer, you cannot create a site, but still you can find the tab called a site. Site tab we can find over here. Maybe uh, we, we cannot create the site, but tab will be there. Right now, the reason why we are not getting the site tab here is your supplier is prospective supplier. Let's go for complete the process. Let's submit this supplier. Now, the supplier has submitted for the approval purpose. Let's go for manage suppliers here. Search for the supplier here. I could see that there is an icon here. It seems uh, it's waiting for approval. 
So whatever supplier we have created, it's waiting for approval. If it is auto approval, then in a couple of minutes, it will be automatically approved and this icon will be empty. The profile change request is pending for this supplier. You can see in my playlist, it means uh, supply chain management. If we go for, let's subscribe for our RTL online, here you can find playlist. I have separated uh, financial related uh, real-time videos, human capital management real-time videos, and uh, supply chain management real-time videos. In supply chain management, you can find the supplier related options, whatever we have related for approvals and other, how to set out approval, these are options. I think still it seems it's waiting in the sense it's it needs some approval. It's not, yes, it's auto approval. Go to this. I'll make another video how we can configure approvals for a supplier creation so that it will be helpful for everybody. Okay. And now I'm going for uh, edit. I want to convert this supplier from prospect to, to spend authorized. It means the company has decided to purchase the goods from the supplier. If it is prospect to supplier, you cannot purchase. You can just send your RFQ, receive the quotations. Only the negotiations and sourcing can happen. But if at all you would like to go for purchase the goods from the suppliers, you are supposed to convert this prospect to supplier as spend authorized supplier. How we can do this? How we can perform this? Generally, what happened most of the times, even if you search in MetaLink or some white papers, they say that you can go for, uh, you know, convert here. When you click on this edit, you don't find here. You don't find that particular tab here it is. Here we don't find, right? So what we have to do is click on this, click on this supplier name, click on the supplier name. There is a button here, promote, promote to spend authorized. Now you can promote to spend authorized. Here it is. Okay. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to log into the applications here, promote to spend authorized. Justification. So we can say that uh, supplier has qualified all the qualification areas. That's a justification. And we are going to make it as a bit. We are going to promote this employee as prospect. You can go for create supplier site here, but it's showing that you cannot edit this supplier record because uh, it's still approval is pending. That also we made it as auto approval. So we don't need to do anything here. We have to wait for a couple of minutes. Click search button. You can see that icon. It's, it's, there are some changes we have done with this to get the approvals waiting for approvals.
I think from converting from prospect two to spend authorized approval, maybe it needs some approval from the managers. Yes, it seems some approval is there. But anyway, let me show you that where do we find approvals. Let's go to procurement, approval management, select all tasks. We can find all the supplier uh, related uh, approval options here. Supplier profile change approvals is there. That's there is there are two approvals are enabled. That's the reason it's got stuck up. But anyway, that's how actually we can go ahead with uh, you know uh, make the prospective supplier as uh, spend authorized supplier. Okay, so I'll make another video how to go ahead with approvals and different types of approvals we have for the suppliers for the suppliers. Okay. Uh, let me just cross check once. Yes, now it's it's approved automatically. Now we can go ahead with uh, creating the supplier site. We'll find the site tab here. See, the tab will find sites. And current, uh, you can maintain sites only if you are a procurement agent with access to manage suppliers. Make sure that the current employee, whoever is working, he must be a buyer. If you are a buyer, then only you will be able to create a supplier site and assign this supplier site to the business units which are associated with the current, current user. So you are working as a buyer and you are working for two business units as a buyer, then you can assign your site also only for those two BUs. You cannot assign to another BUs. In fact, you can also view the information of the supplier sites which are associated with your business unit. Supplier is global. We can search supplier, supplier address we can get, but sites are BU specific. It means whatever the business unit we are working, only that business unit supplier sites we can find in the transaction page. In, when I say transaction page, either in the regulation, RFQ, quotations, purchase orders, invoices, and payments. In all these transaction pages, we can find only the sites which are associated with our business unit. Okay, you can try this. It is a just informational, like how we can convert our prospective supplier as spend authorized supplier. Thank you. Please subscribe for our YouTube channel to get latest and please inform to your colleagues and other people also to get more knowledge about the Oracle Cloud technologies. Thank you.